All right, this next question is from Barbara, and she writes to us, My mom just died on Sunday, and she has a reverse mortgage. Does the bank own it? Our condolences, Barbara, for sure, on the loss of your mother. The answer on this is really it depends because there's not there's going to need to be a transaction that takes place mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the the. the the owner of the home who set up the reverse mortgage, which we're assuming that your mom did. If the heirs here need to sell the home, which is probably, I would say, and I, and, and full disclosure here, we have very little to know uh, experience with this. This is not something we're going to work on. We, we do not do reverse mortgages. We see them from time to time, but we don't do reverse mortgages. So the assumption here from me is, is that I would assume that in most cases, the heirs are going to want to either sell the home or need to sell the home uh, for various reasons. But if some heirs have a lack of funds to pay off the loan balance, because that's what we're talking about here at the end of someone's life who had a reverse mortgage, there's going to be a loan balance that is due. They may need to sell the home to repay the reverse mortgage loan. If the loan balance is less than the home value, then you got some equity and your heirs can use the sale proceeds to repay the loan and keep the difference. Now, if the balance owed on the loan is more than what the home is worth, your heirs would probably be looking at selling the home uh, anyway, but they could sell it for at least 95% of the current appraised value in order to pay off the home. And then the remaining balance of the loan would be covered by the mortgage insurance that the reverse mortgage borrower paid during the duration of the loan. But there may be some instances where the heirs want to keep the home. Yeah, so so if the heirs want to keep the home instead of selling it, then you would need to pay uh, pay off the rest of the loan uh, with some other source of funds. So you've got to look at whether or not that's an option for your family to be able to do. Uh, but that loan balance would need to be paid in full. And I will say on any reverse mortgage, uh, the devil's in the details yes. of those. Mm-hmm. And so we, we've kind of given some broad generalities here for you. But I think it's important for you to be in contact with the mortgage company as one of or the heir. Yeah, I don't know if there, if there are siblings involved or not, but you need to, to be in contact with the mortgage company and get the information that you need to be able to understand the details of how what your mom set up is really going to work. Yeah, and Barbara is unfortunately having to deal with this in hindsight. It's it, it's nothing that she can do about it on right. the front end, but I think it would be worth uh, talking a little bit about how we view those reverse mortgages. You know, you, you see those, I would say, behind gold. It is probably yeah. the most frequently advertised, uh, I won't call it a product, but option for retirees. And I, I would say this, it should be one of the last options. It, I, I'm not going to get on here and you know, rail against reverse mortgages. I think in some cases it may be the thing people have to do, yeah. but it should never be a first, second, or third option. And and frankly, that's why we don't see it very often yeah. Is, yeah. is sometimes people will come in and ask us about them, but then we look at their situation and we're able to determine another route to go instead of that. A lot of times, Scott, uh, people are looking at this because they feel like they need another source of income during retirement, and this allows them to do that. And so, again, in the right circumstances, we would say, you know, check it out and see what you need to do. But in most cases, uh, we're we're just not fans of them uh, for for a lot of reasons. But if somebody is able to um, early on start planning for retirement, and I say early, uh, that that's a very relative term if they're able to start planning enough uh you know early enough in their lifetime that they don't have to go this route then i wouldn't go this route yeah so just because a famous actor may tell you about reverse mortgages yeah don't don't go diving into one and right the one thing that has perplexed me a little bit about it too is that it has to be driven or in most cases i would think by a desire to stay in that exact home 
Because if you need the equity out of your home, there's a lot of different ways to do that yeah. as opposed to going into the reverse mortgage. Yeah, I you mean, sell it, right? I mean, yeah, we we've seen people um, sell their home and then go to like a, a retirement. I don't want to say assisted living because it's more independent, but like a retirement community mm-hmm. where they're they're paying for meals and you know all that kind of thing. That's always it's already prepared for them. So we've seen them utilize the equity from their home as the revenue stream for their future home in right. retirement retirement. Yep. So obviously uh, something that Barbara has to deal with on the back end, but if you're thinking about that on the front end, get some advice from multiple sources. Uh, you know, you can talk to a trusted banker, you can tra- talk to a, an attorney, you can talk to a financial advisor. I'd say talk to all three uh, and determine whether that's really right for you. You know, I, one other PS comment here mm-hmm. on this, on the, uh, when you said trusted banker, um, we actually reached out to mm-hmm. a friend of ours uh, who's in the banking realm and actually deals with mortgages on a regular basis, and he does not do uh, reverse mortgages just doesn't touch them, even though he deals with mortgages regularly. So, uh, it, you're you're going to be somewhat limited in the sources of advice you can get mm-hmm. who deal with this regularly, and you know there's probably a reason for that. Yeah, Barbara, we want to thank you for reaching out at a tough time. Yes. We know in your family's life, we're going to call this the question of the week, and we thank you for reaching out with it and for being named question of the week. We'd love to send you a free get ready for the future show tumbler. Uh, for being that question of the week. We just need to know where to send it, and we need you to claim it. Send us an email, show at getreadyforthefuture.com. I actually had a, uh, a new client in uh, the Gen Wealth office here in West Little Rock earlier this week. He said, where can I get one of those tumblers? Those sound really <laughs> nice. I said, well, have you sent a question in? And he said, well, I ask you a bunch of questions. Does, does it that, doesn't that count? And I said, yes, it does. So we got him a tumbler. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. All right. If you do have a question, You can call or text them to us at 501-381-5228, or you can send an email to show at getreadyforthefuture.com.